Traffic is shut down on a rural Winnebago County road after a deadly car accident. This happened around 1 this afternoon. Sheriff's deputies were called to the intersection of Belvedere and Atwood Roads. That's in Harlem Township. Investigators say one car was involved. The driver lost control, veered off the road, and struck a tree. The woman died at the scene. No word on what caused that crash, but officers tell us speed may have been a factor. Police say the intersection was closed for several hours this afternoon while they investigated. We've learned a little more about the human remains discovered off a busy Winnebago County Highway. Tuesday morning, state police were called to the 251 exit off Bypass 20. Investigators say the body was decomposed down to the bones. The coroner says the remains appear to be about an adult. It's not yet known if that person was a man or a woman. An autopsy will take place before the weekend. Investigators say it will be quite some time before we know an identity. The attorney for the brothers allegedly paid by actor Jesse Smollett to stage a hate crime files a motion to intervene in the actor's case. The siblings previously told investigators Smollett paid them to fake the attack in early 2019. Smollett was arrested. Charges were later dropped. He maintains he's innocent. The brother's lawyer argues Smollett's attorney, Nene Uche, should be kicked off the case because he gathered confidential information during a time he thought he might represent the men. Uche claims he never spoke to the brothers. A judge ordered a hearing but did not set a date. Now, if that lawyer's name sounds familiar, it's because he has a presence in Rockford as well. Nene Uche also represents Tyrese Jones, the Rockford man accused of murder who was shot by police during a car chase. Police say Jones shot a man on Furman Street last year. The officer who shot Jones was cleared of any wrongdoing. Cleanup is underway to prepare for the home of Rockford's proposed casino. Crews are tearing down the old Coco Key just behind the old clock tower off State 990. The water park was closed in 2015 for health code issues. The site, along with the Forest City Tennis Center, which burned down last year, is expected to become the new Hard Rock Casino Rockford. Last month, the Illinois Gaming Board gave the proposal preliminary approval. A spokeswoman tells us the investment team remains optimistic about this project and the prospect of bringing hundreds of jobs and millions of dollars in tax revenue to the region. During an emergency, communication is key. That's why the Freeport Fire Department wants neighbors to have a plan before an incident happens. First responders rolled out Community Connect. It's an app that collects information about hazards around your home who lives there, if anyone is disabled, and other important items. Business owners can do the same. The fire department says that info will be sent to first responders when they're called to your home or business. Fire Chief Brad Liggett says updating that information can save lives. It's important to enter the information, but then also keep it up to date. Uh, if anything changes, if someone moves out of the home, if your hazards in the home change, uh, if you do some remodeling, that might be impact the information that you put into the system. Those are all important things to make sure that you keep up on. Find a link to download Community Connect on our website, mystateline.com.